Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery outside on this beautiful fall day with a beautiful brand new bow from the folks at Elite. This is the Elite Carbon Era. That's right, carbon. First carbon bow from the folks at Elite. Always exciting when we see a bow manufacturer take on something new. Elite has taken on carbon. And what I will tell you is this is the nicest carbon bow that I have shot. We're gonna tell you all about it. Before we do that, let's get into the specs for the Elite Carbon Era. The Elite Era measures 31 and a quarter inches axle to axle. It's got an IBO speed rating of up to 336 feet per second, a brace height of seven and one quarter inches. The mass weight is gonna be 3.95 pounds. Draw length is gonna be adjustable on a rotating mod from 25 and a half to 31 inches. The let off is gonna be adjustable from 70 to 90%. It's gonna be available in peak draw weights of 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70 pounds. All right, so Elite Carbon Era. This thing, as I mentioned, is incredible. And so what's especially unique about it is it's carbon, but it still looks like an Elite. So many times when a manufacturer comes out with a carbon bow, it looks nothing like their other bows. But look at that riser. I mean, first off, from top to bottom, it looks like Elite, but this is where it really looks like an Elite. You know, it's got the dual bridges, top and bottom. That's something Elite has been doing with their aluminums for years. Helps with that rigidity and stability of full draw. They just put it into the carbon bow and it definitely makes a difference. So the construction of this bow, the riser, uh, it is hand laid carbon. That is a unique process. And what it does is it basically makes this riser one uniform piece. So that's the construction they went with for the design. You heard the specs. I can tell you, we put it on a scale. We got 3.9 pounds. Uh, so we were right there uh, in line with their specs. Um, but just incredible carbon, you know, you figure this is their first time making a carbon bow. Elite's been making bows for years, but this is their first attempt at carbon and I think they just killed it. So let's go up to some other things because uh, uh, everything else about this bow still is very much elite. What you're going to see here, the workhorse, the engine for this bow for the era is this all new SP cam. We just saw that couple months ago with the Omnia. Same cam, SP cam that we have on there. So this thing is super fast. So on the SP cam, we do have, once again, the V2 micro mod. This is a rotating module for draw length and let off and the draw length. So, uh, you know, it's 25 and a half to 31 inch draw length range. It's gonna be adjustable in quarter inch increments. So I have, uh, you know, number one is going to be 31 inches. Number two is going to be 30 and a half. What happens is if I rotate that module in between the numbers one and two, another hole will appear to put a screw in place to lock the module. And then that's going to be 30 and three quarter inches. So quarter inch draw length adjustments. We've talked about that several times that what that allows you to do is minimize cable twisting. You know, you want to get that draw length exactly to where you want it. The more you can do with the module, the less you have to do with cable twisting because when you twist the cables, you change the performance of the bow. Elite's engineers want this bow to perform with the cables at the lengths they come from at the factory. When you start twisting them to change the draw length, now you're changing the performance. So the less you have to do that, the better. So also on the V2 Micro Mod, you're gonna have Elite's new let off adjustment system. So the let off for this bow is adjustable from 70 to 90%. And in here, you're gonna see a set screw right here. And then you can see this brass. It's like a gear is what it looks like to me. So that's what I call it. Basically, I loosen this set screw, put my Allen wrench into the brass wheel and then as I turn it that is a gear that's moving on teeth you have infinite adjustment of your let off in that 70 to 90 percent range elite says you can get it down to within that you can make one percent 
adjustments on that let off. You don't like 90%, take it to 89%. You know, it just allows you to tweak it, to get that bow to feel exactly how you want it to feel. Um, and so that's a unique system. We haven't seen that. Great to allow you to get this bow exactly the way you want it. Coming down again, you know, we have the wide limbs, the wide limb pocket, wide limb stance. That goes to that stability uh, and rigidity at full draw. Of course, that's where you want to feel stable is when you're at full draw, widening that limbs. That helps with that. So even with the carbon bow, we still have Elite's set technology, simplified exact tuning. You know, there are no yokes on this bow in order to affect cam lean. So when you're tuning, Elite has come up with a unique system where basically you're gonna adjust the limb pocket here, which ultimately affects your cam position, but it's super simple to use. So I'm gonna have a locking screw right here. I just turn that to unlock the set system. And then right here, I have this screw and you're just gonna turn it one way or the other to clean up paper tear. Elite even has right here a guide that tells you if you got a left tear, turn it this way. You got a right tear, turn it that way. Uh, and so it's just small adjustments, that's one thing to know. You know, when it says turn it clockwise, you're not giving it a whole turn. You're just making small adjustments, then you shoot through paper, see the effect on the arrow you know, small is better, do things in little increments. And you know, as I just mentioned, you can do all this right on the shooting line. With set, you don't need a bow press. All you need are a set of Allen wrenches. You can do it on the shooting line, shoot through paper. Okay, I need to make a little adjustment, make it shoot again through paper. You can work through your tuning process that way right on the line. Now, coming down the riser, as we mentioned, got those dual cages, top and bottom. That uh, helps this bow with its rigidity. And as I mentioned, um, that I believe this is the nicest shooting carbon bow that I've ever shot. So carbon doesn't really vibrate uh, like aluminum does. In other words, you know, when you take the shot, if there's an after effect with aluminum, it kind of vibrates up your arm. With carbon, it's more of a thump. Uh, it just is kind of, you feel that the shot go off. Uh, and you know, you just feel that hand shock. Carbon historically has had hand shock. The bow manufacturers have been better at killing that hand shock. If you go back about six or seven years, shoot a carbon bow then compared to now, you're gonna feel that thump. So we've been quietly, we've been slowly but surely killing that hand shock. And you know, as I stand here today, the Elite Era, this has the least amount of hand shock that I've ever felt in a carbon bow. It's almost negligible. I mean, there is the tiniest little perception that you get of the bow going off, but compared to what carbon used to be, this is light years ahead of that. Now, so to help with that uh, killing of the hand shock all over the bow, you've got vibration dampeners built all through here. We've got them top and bottom. You've got your limb dampeners. Uh, you're gonna have some um, vibration killing material here. You're gonna have it built into the uh, string stop, you know, at the front end and at the back end. Lots of vibration dampening all over this bow. More typical Elite technology, LTR, linear tunable roller. This is their uh, cable roller arm. It is adjustable left and right. If you need more cable clearance for fletchings or you're doing your tuning, you wanna change that load on the cams, you can move it laterally in order to do that. Uh, Elite this year, uh, also with the Omnia, they've just widened the bottom of the grip a little bit. It, and it feels a little bit more stable in my hand anyway, when I get behind it. Having it a little wider, uh, it just sits um, a lot more stable in my hand. It does still narrow up at the top here, so you know it's gonna promote good hand position in there. Uh, it just feels nice at full draw. And what I can tell you, of course, carbon bows, one of the reasons that we love them is because they're impervious to temperature change. It's kind of cold out here today, you know, fall weather. This riser almost feels warm to the touch. 
just because you know that aluminum that will suck the heat right out of your hand carbon doesn't do that and so this bow it feels a lot warmer than i know it would if i were holding on to an aluminum riser all right coming down so stabilizer options that's always a tricky thing with carbon bows because where are you going to put the bushings you're going to drill into the carbon how are you going to take care of that so elite does have the standard bushing up front and they do offer one in the back. It does have a dedicated drilled bushing on the back. Aside from that, on the side here, Elite does have this triangle um, piece right here you can see. They have a new stabilizer mount called the Sidekick. So a side rod uh, mount, when you're gonna have a side rod bracket, you're gonna have a horizontal piece and then a piece that comes back, that's where you're gonna put your bar. So this allows, by having the sidekick, Elite has enabled you to suck that side rod closer into the riser. You know, we're doing lots of things today to streamline the profile of these compound bows. That new sidekick from Elite, that's gonna be your mounting place for that and that's gonna pull it closer to the bow. All right, so the shooting experience with the Elite Carbon Era. So the first time I picked up this bow, uh, Paul Gio came into our office uh, with it, you know, took it downstairs. I was excited to shoot it. I had my typical carbon expectations of what I was expecting to feel. And when I took that first shot, just to feel the lack of hand shock in this bow, I would say that struck me immediately. You know, the bow draws nice, shoots nice. It is an Elite. I would expect that from Elite, but this being their first carbon offering, I was expecting to feel some typical carbon hand shocks. So to see what they were able to take out of that end was impressive. Now, for speed from the carbon era. So the brace height, as you heard, is seven and a quarter inches. That is a fairly high brace height for a hunting compound bow. It's great for forgiveness. I mean, this bow shoots, the forgiveness is awesome on this, and that helps with the draw cycle as well. But what you worry about when you start getting up into the seven, seven and a quarter inch is what's that gonna do for speed? So here's what I'll tell you, the Elite Omnia, that had a six inch brace height and a 347 feet per second IBO speed rating. This has a seven and a quarter inch brace height, a full inch and a quarter bigger, and uh, Elite's speed rating for it is 336 feet per second, exactly 11 feet per second different. So for our tests, I always shoot the same arrow. It's a Black Eagle Spartan that weighs 475 grains from the Omnia. You can go back and watch the video. I got 302 feet per second. For the Elite Era, shooting that exact same arrow, 30 inch uh, draw length, 70 pounds, the bow is set at, 475 grain arrow, I got 291 feet per second. Exactly 11 feet per second different from the Omnia. So what Elite says, the difference in those speed ranges is, I saw the exact same thing, shooting my same exact uh, setup. And what I'll tell you is 291 feet per second for a 475 grain arrow, that's still really fast. Um, so I'm not worried about that speed at all. That's definitely fast, especially when I factor in that seven and a quarter inch brace height. And as I mentioned, you know, that's great for forgiveness, which I noticed with this bow. The draw cycle is nice. The SP cam is aggressive. So you are gonna, you know, I have it set at 70 pounds. It does feel like 70 pounds, but the initial uh, burst of energy, because I'm an inch and a quarter back, that initial burst of energy required to get the cam to start coming back doesn't last as long as how I would explain it compared to the Omnia. Come back to full draw, of course, I have it set at 90% let off. When they do the IBO speed rating, it's less than that. It's either 80 or 85, I can't remember that. Uh, but I know it's less than 90. So to get 291 at all those specs, that's pretty great. Um, 
but the bow holds great at full draw. You know that I would expect nothing less from an Elite. Holds great, aims great. You know, if I have to let it down, it's comfortable all the way back. It's not trying to pull my shoulder forward. So the shooting experience is very much elite. They talk about the shootability. They wanna build a bow that is comfortable to shoot. Tuning the carbon era. This may be the simplest bow tune that I've ever had. Um, I just, it came with a rest on it and the rest was set. The height was good. The center shot was at 14 sixteenths. Without going out to the paper, I just moved it to 13 sixteenths. Went, you know, checked my timing, got the timing correct. Went out to the range, first shot, perfect bullet hole. Zoom in on that. I mean, so I, again, set technology was there. I didn't need it. This thing shot, shot great right two. out of the box. So, and as I was telling Darren Christianberry, you know, he works for Elite, he's their pro staff manager, uh, pro archer, shoots senior pro on the ASA and all the tours, IBO out there. I was telling him what I thought of the Elite Carbon era, and he told me that he had been speaking with Tommy Gomez. Tommy is Elite's plant manager, and he's also a pro archer as well, shoots in the open pro division uh, in, on the 3D circuit. And he said, Tommy mentioned to him that he thinks this is the best bow Elite has ever built. I've had some time to play with it. I'm super impressed, especially in the fact that it is carbon to see what they were able to do with carbon their first time out. Super impressive bow. All right, so that is the Elite Carbon Era. Great new first carbon offering from the folks at Elite. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com. <laughs>